So I've just finished this charcoal painting. I call it a painting rather than a drawing, but uh, it's a charcoal on a large sheet of a lion. And you, if you do charcoal drawings, you probably find that it's quite annoying with the dust that happens on the surface here. I'm holding it very carefully here in the corners, but you can see that by doing that, I'll just hold with my fingernails here. Can you see that I've wiped off some of that charcoal just by touching it? So charcoal is a very, while it's a lovely, lovely expressive medium, it's also really delicate. Once it's on the paper, it's very, very easy to rub it off. So you have to be super careful when you're storing your charcoal drawings. So I'll show you the tip that I use. It doesn't, it costs next to nothing and it's a great way to keep your charcoal drawings safe until you decide what you're going to do with it next, whether it's going to be either fixing it, have a look at another video to look all about how to fix a charcoal drawing, or whether you want to frame it. So have a look at some of those other videos, but I'll just switch the camera around so you can see exactly what I do to protect this drawing in the meantime. So here's what I do. I need to protect this surface so that nothing else it rubs against it it's very difficult to just leave it sitting around and not have a cat walk over it or something so if you if you do a lot of charcoal drawings you kind of need to stack them up so you need to protect the surface of it against other drawings that are going to rub on, rub on it so this is what I use just simple old baking paper you can get some fancy art paper called glassine paper glassine paper which is very archival and all very good but this is very easy to find and cheap and I have found no problems at all using this this is not uh, waxed paper so it's just normal sort of dry feeling baking paper so if you just tear off enough of a sheet with a little bit of extra length then I'll fold over the top like that and just put it down and fold like that then I can very carefully slip the drawing up into there into that top bit which means you'll be able to handle the drawing by grabbing it at the top there. Try and line it up before you lay the baking paper down on it. And then once you've laid it down on there, you can then, an extra safe way is to fold the extra little bit down here over the edge. And now you've got the ability to carry that drawing around and keep it safe until you decide what you're gonna do with it. So that's how I protect my drawings just with simple old baking paper so the only problem that happens with this and with anything uh, so with any surface that you put over the top of a charcoal drawing it's always going to grab the charcoal in some way so I've just laid that down I haven't rubbed or anything but have a look at what happens if I lift it up you can see that some of the charcoal has touched on this baking paper. Can you see little bits of dust in there? It's touched on there and it's actually lifted it up off the drawing. So that is a risk. There's nothing you can do about that unless you fix your charcoal drawing. So I'll talk about fixing the charcoal drawing in the next video and you can learn all about that. Thanks for watching.